Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and I decided to come and do a video to show you guys um, a new science kit. Yes, it's a kit that I got. Um, it is from Delta Education and this is how the kit came. It came with this box and I got the Investigating Matter kit and it is the Science in a Nutshell cluster and in this cluster they have solids, liquids, gases, physical and chemical changes. And um, the way that it comes, some of the things that I really, really like about this kit is that you can buy each of the cluster units individually, but um, when you get the cluster, it comes with a teacher's manual. So this is the Investigating Matter um, Cluster Teacher's Manual, and I really like it because it has everything that you need for each of the cluster units and I'll show you guys the units um, in a minute but it has how you're going to do all the experiments all the background information that you need for the experiments for uh, the children to do and it ha has it in phases where phase one is exploration and then phase two they get to go a little bit deeper it has assessments and everything else in it that's really really nice and Another thing that I really like is I'm going to try to get to the book of one of these clusters quickly. And of course, that's not happening, but um, let me scroll through. Here is the activity journal. And what you do is you just make as many copies as you need for your students. Um, with the activity journal. So that's the first page of the activity journal. And then each page it has what the activity is. And for this one, it's um, determining whether something is a solid, liquid, or a gas. And then they have, it has all the things that they're going to do in their experiment. And they get to chart. It's a really easy to follow chart so they can chart their results. And then it has a question at the end. Look at the chart. What properties do liquids have in common? And then gases and solids. And then, again, there's another page for the next activity. Um, and this one is part one of an activity. And then the sheet for part two of an activity. And then activity three, part one, part two. So it's really, really thorough. I really like it. I like that I can just make copies of the activity journal so that everyone can have one. They don't have to share. If you buy the clusters individually or if you buy the kits, the units individually, they come with three student activity journals. So it's fine um, if you just want to buy individual units. But I like that with the, stu with the teacher's manual, I can print out as many activity journals as I wanted to. Another thing that I really like about it is that it's just really easy to follow. And what I'm going to have my kids do in addition to the activity journal is they're just going to be adding them to their um, um, science interactive notebooks. And I just got piece, things for the internet, interactive notebooks. I bought all the pieces off of like Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, it was just easier for me to do it that way than try to come up with my own. Now for the actual units. So this is how the units come. They already came in this bag. And so this one is the science in a nutshell. And it is, I took all that shit, I can't see it easily. Oh, this is physical and chemical changes. So here's the thing, physical and chemical changes. And then inside the kit, it has everything that you'll need, all the jars, rubber bands it has a little pepper thing in it it has the little cups it has the droppers everything is clearly labeled so here it says petri dish with cover is in, in bag and the reason why everything is labeled this way is that you can set these up as just stations they're designed to be set up as stations in your home or really in your school but they work well for homeschooling and the reason why I say these even though it's 
Um, it looks like it's designed for a school with a teacher's manual and everything. All of the activities are designed for a child to do it on their own or with a partner. So this is not, nothing in here is really like classroom based activity. This is all independent investigation for the child. And so that's one, something I really liked. And then, okay, this one's solid. And when I open it up, it again, it has everything. Straws, all the little things that you would need. Got tweezers, the thermometer, magnifying glass. It already has, this is um, the iron filings. And so, and, the, and plus all the cups, all the different cups and holders and everything, literally everything that you'll need for a science experiment. So this, one of the things that I find when I'm, do, when I'm looking at a lot of books and even some kits that I buy is that I can't start with the stuff because I thought that it said everything was included. But then I find out that, oh, no, you have to add this piece or that piece. And sometimes things that people will say are regular household supplies, they're not regular household supplies for us. Like, I don't use borax in my everyday world. And so these kits are great. Um, this one is on gases. And I was really excited about this one because we hadn't really been able to do a whole lot of stuff with gases. And this is, um, this kit again has kind of everything that you would need to do this, this blank note cards um it has bubble solution it has modeling clay and again everything is bagged and, and labeled and ready to go some of the things that they tell you that you'll need to add that aren't included because I have seen a couple of the activities, but it'll say something that you need is like an eight and a half by 11 sheet of white paper, um, a newspaper, and, and I can understand why that wasn't included in the kit. And um, another thing that I've seen is that you would need an empty water bottle, just a regular water bottle, because it already has all the other bottles that you would need, but it just asks you to add one more empty water bottle so those are the only things that I've seen that needed to be added that weren't already in the kit this is the liquids kit and it has things like it has the in the liquids kit again all the stuff that you would need this is um, liquid flow viewing solution um, so you don't have to try to make make up solutions and stuff by yourself it already has the food coloring in it. So really, these are pretty much grab and go, and you can set them up for stations for your kids. And we're just going to go through them just one unit at a time until we go through all of them. Um, again, I found this off of Delta Education's website. I hadn't really heard about it before. I saw somebody post about it on Facebook. And I had never heard of the company before. I had never heard of the products. And I went and checked them out. And I didn't see a lot of information on the website. So I went ahead and took a chance and ordered it. And I have to say, I'm really, really impressed with it. They are designed for upper elementary and middle school students. And that's another thing that I really like. Because there are some things that I've invested in and they just didn't work for us. Things like Magic School Bus, um kids I had got their like one kid a month club and I ended up just giving away every single one of those kids just because they were really really too young for my kids but th these kits are really the activities are um, they, they look solid they're solidly that upper elementary early middle school so um, that's really good they have things like you know this activity is making a thermometer that students um, would do and it has, again, all the background information. It has safety tips in there, procedures, um, that sort of stuff. So, again, I, I really like what I see. I'll let you guys know um, how it goes for us as we use the kits. I definitely probably will end up looking back and seeing if there's any more of their clusters that I want. The cluster cost um, for the four units and the teacher's manual and everything that was in the cluster the price was, I think, about $180. Um, a lot of times, um, 
um, or some of the kits the kits are actually like $45 each so if you just wanted just the gases kit I think that would be a 45 or $47 so it actually was a little bit um, you know a, you have a little bit of a savings because by buying the cluster just because the student the teacher manual does not come with the individual kits it has just the ex, the uh, a sheet for the activities and then the student journals three student journals but here I have the actual teachers manual so everything is kind of laid out for me which I love and also I can just print off the teachers manuals for every kit there's enough information I mean there are enough materials so that each activity can be done up to four times so they're designed for um, kids to be able to to do these over and over again and so that's another thing that I really like about it is that I'm not going to it's not just a one and done sort of activity we'll be able to do every single activity in the kit and there are 8 to 12 activities per kit we'll be able to do every single one of those 8 to 12 activities multiple times all you'll have to do is watch the, the bottles and stuff like that but again one thing that I love about it because this is designed for a little bit older children their instructions in their in the manual tell them that after you finish this activity go to the sink wash out uh, with soap and water and dry the various components and put them back in their labeled bag and so that's one thing that I really really like it's kind of teaching them the entire scientific process which is scientists need to go back and clean up their work and make sure that they don't leave a mess and they don't leave anything out that might be harmful if somebody else gets it so this is really a great transition um, away from kind of that lower level elementary science into the high, um, upper elementary and um, middle school science so I'm really really happy with this again it came with the bucket so the bucket um, was the plastic bucket came with it everything is clearly in a labeled in the bag in additional bag so you can keep everything together there are enough materials to do every experiment multiple times and if you get the cluster it comes with the um, instructor's manual if you just buy the kits it'll come with an act one activity guide and then three um, activity journals for the kids and I'm really happy with it. Like I said, the, the materials, um, they, they, they include everything except for a random piece of paper or a newspaper or something like that. I thought, oh yeah, I saw one you had to add sugar as well. Um, but um, everything is in there. There's nothing that, um, so many times I've gone to do some science experiments with my kids and then I find out that I, there's something that I, I didn't have <laughs> that I need. But these are designed for kids to really be able to do them by themselves, especially if they're in that proper um, grade range, which is going to be kind of that fourth through sixth grade level. Um, they're going to be able to actually do these. They, they're they expected to be able to do these independently. So I will probably um, let um, uh, Speedster do, do them on his own. And then I'll be there to kind of guide uh, Salamander and Faster Fox through these. But if I see that they're kind of able to hold their own with it, then I'll let them do them as independent units as well. So I hope this helps. I wanted to come and do a video on it just because I had never heard of the company before. I had never heard of the kids before. And I just saw, again, it was just really a random post on Facebook. And I said, what? There's a, there's a science company I don't know about? And so I uh, went ahead and put in an order and have been really, really happy with what I've seen thus far in it. And I'll let you guys know how the experiments go. But hope this helps. This is Dr. J. And I'm out. Bye-bye.